What has been your favorite experience in the industry so far, like since I've last seen you? Honestly, just the set life is so different now, obviously, because I was contracted. I think after we did that video, because I think that was like a 2021-ish, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, I got contracted with Vixen. Mm-hmm. So then I was contracted with them exclusively for a year and a half. That kind of taught me how to be more of an actress mm. than more of a traditional, like, just gonzo star. Yeah. Because I would just do, like, silly scripts and mm-hmm. then just be done. But being on a Vixen set really taught me a lot of patience and how to be an actor. Because, you know, I used to think just being a porn star would just be, like, you go on set, you have sex, and you leave. But no. I mean, it's still like that, too. But yeah. Vixen sets taught me, like, reading a script— like a long script and how to act, be more expressional and all this. So I feel like I've changed so much in a positive way because then I learned so much with Vixen that I can carry that now, whether it's my content or with other studios. I just feel like I have so much more patience. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're on their set, they are long sets and they take care of you. That's a good thing. But you really know what it's like to be on a movie set. Yeah. Because it is a movie set. Yeah. And that's the thing, I think, what a lot of people don't, realize is that if you're shooting like a true cinematic piece, like everything takes time because yes. the lighting setup takes Voice time. Acting. And yeah, I mean, there's so many elements to it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just like sticking you in a white room that's like just flat with, lit, a, couch with a white couch and then you just go for it. It's like in every, you know, moment. If you really look at a movie, it's so interesting because after I started directing, I looked at movies so differently. Mm -hmm. Every single little fucking tiny shot that you see, it's a two-second shot. And you don't really register it when you're watching the movie because you're immersed and you're enjoying it. But if you pull back and look at it, like every single one of those shots took time to Mm -hmm. set up. Different angles, right? All that shit takes forever. But it like looks so amazing, you know, like all of those cuts and all those different angles. like. That's what builds the story. Mm -hmm. And you don't really realize it until you're in it. And then I'll be like on set sometimes like, oh my God, they're making me walk so many times. But then when you see the trailer, the movie, you're like, okay, it makes sense. They want to get the side angle. They want to zoom in with the butt. They want to get the hair flip. They want to, but then it just comes out so good that you're like, it was worth it. Definitely. Yeah. I learned that and I appreciate it now. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, It's, it's really nice to work with models who understand what that's like because yeah. Days can be very long and you can definitely get girls who are like, why is this taking so long? And it's like, because like, do you want it to look like a Vixen production or do you want it to look like a Gonzo thing that was shot in like your Mm -hmm. bedroom? Obviously, you got to have both. Yeah. What is your favorite kind of scene to shoot, by the way? Is it like a feature with acting and stuff now or do you prefer the more Gonzo or is it? I like both. Like both. I like to give my fans both options Mm -hmm. in case they want a Mm storyline. With me doing something that's not like traditional, Mm -hmm. like a real movie or, you know, just something where it's like, you know, you just wear some lingerie tees and then go straight to the sex. Like Mm -hmm. I like giving them both, but I love doing both. Like whether I get booked for a long scene or a short scene, like I'm just there and I'm like, all right, let's do it. Because I'm really going into it thinking like I want to satisfy my fans Mm -hmm. like I do it for myself obviously like Mm -hmm. I love what I do like I will never complain about it here and there I will but it's like very like who doesn't complain about their job I love complaining it's like my favorite thing yeah me too (laughs) I I like complain about bills I complain about sometimes I drink too much water I pee a lot like you know we always complain about something but these are like good complaints yeah yeah yeah. quality problems yes not first world problems but first world problems yeah yeah yeah. both um but yeah I just like I like giving my fans and like Basically, I feel like I live for them, which is not a bad thing. I It, it motivates me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I just, I feel like that's my purpose. It's mm-hmm. like, well, one of my purposes is to like make people happy, whether that's like doing a podcast, doing a movie, a YouTube video, like, mm-hmm. like anything. I just feel like I do it for them, but I do it for me. Like we bounce off each other. Well, I mean, but then that's what makes you like the perfect performer, right? Yeah. Because if the work that you're doing to satisfy your customers is also fulfilling for yourself, like that's the perfect combo that a lot of people don't get to have. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't f- feel fulfilled by their work. Yeah. Some people will just do it for, you mm-hmm. know, money, which is okay. Like it's like, like I said, it's like any other job. Yeah. But it's such a satisfying feeling when people will tell you, especially when I do these events, I'm like, oh, I love that, that movie you did. Like I liked your acting. I liked, they don't go into details too mm-hmm. much, but mm-hmm. they'll just, 
you know, it's it's good to see it on a cover or like see people appreciate it or even seeing the views. I just hit a billion views on next videos. Oh, wow. I'm almost at a billion on Pornhub. So it's like it's like it makes me like motivated because like, yeah. like, like I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You're definitely one cannot call you like a newbie anymore. Like you are. I still feel like it sometimes. <laughs> 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 even though I've been this year is going to be six in six. September. Yeah. Wow. Six years in September. Congratulations. Yeah. It's gonna be twenty six years for me in September. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm not old, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't look it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so your first gangbang was released in May. Mm-hmm. How did that go? And why made you decide to finally do that? I wanted to pace my career, obviously. Mm-hmm. I didn't wanna I wanna keep the fans wanting more and more. So that's why that's just how I wanted to do my career. Everyone's free to do how they mm-hmm. want it. But I felt like this year was the year because the like two years ago I did my first anal, then the next year I did my first DP. Then mm-hmm. I was like, okay, now I can do my first anal DP gangbang. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to pace myself, but I also wanted to be mentally prepared and physically prepared because when you're going into these scenes, your your mental has to be there because you have to remember you're in a room full of like. A lot of giant dicks. Like, they're not going to give you a small dick gangbang. I could do it for my OnlyFans, but I can't do it for a scene, you know, the movie, like a production set. Because they want to, especially when you have, when you're curvy, they want to see the penetration. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, a lot of guys ask, why are dicks so big and porn? And I'm like, a lot of times it's logistics. You have to be able to see the penetration and there needs to be enough, like, of the dick that you can create space between yourself and the performer and open up to camera so you can see it all at the same time. And if a girl has a big butt, then it's like, it's harder. It's harder. Yeah. hundred mm-hmm. percent. So I wanted to be mentally prepared. I wanted to be physically prepared. Like I wanted to be in the gym working out. I was doing like a lot of those like squats, but I was like doing them like kind of like a, like an isolation of it. So I would just be pumping my oh, legs okay. so yeah, like yeah. I can ride for a certain amount of time. <laughs> like I was like a real athlete. Yeah. So then also too, when you're doing like a scene like that, you have to be prepared because you can't just go on set and be like, all right, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Like give me a gangbang. You can't do that. I mean, some people can, but I just wanted to do my research, make sure like when I do my first ever, it, it's like how I want it to look. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what Vixen did. Like they... Mm-hmm. Brought it to life. They let me choose the talent as well. and Or like approve of the talent. Because I was like, you guys handle that? Because I am i don't know like who's good or not. And mm-hmm. like, just let me... Like you handle that part, but also like let me see what they look mm-hmm. like. So yeah. I can be prepared too. Yeah. And when I got to set, I was really nervous. But I feel like when you do anything for the first time, like it's always going to be really nervous. And if it's something you care about. Exactly too. Because I wanted to make sure I looked good. <laughs> Because I'm going to be on the internet forever. So, um, but honestly, I I was also really excited. You know, I was mm-hmm. like, wow, like this is like a fantasy. Like it's not everyone's fantasy, but I've always watched like a lot of gangbang hentais. Mm-hmm. Not really like real life ones. I did for research, but I, I do enjoy like watching the gangbang hentais. Mm-hmm. So to feel, because I already call myself an anime girl. So I felt like I, it's, I, I have to do it. So yeah. Yeah. My fans can also see that too. And it was it was a very fun experience. I would definitely do it again. Yeah. But I would probably have to I want it with different size dicks. It doesn't always have to be big dicks. You want do you want a, a like normal? A normal dick gangbang? Yeah. A normal size dick gangbang. Yeah, I want variety <laughs> next time. 